Historic Canals, the home of Van Gogh and Anne Frank, the Red Light District, and coffee shops selling cannabis. We must be in Amsterdam. Hi, it's Joel and Christmas again. And this is a quick guide on navigating the sometimes confusing public transportation in Amsterdam. When you arrive at the Schiphol Airport, after getting your luggage, follow the signs towards the rental cars. This is where you'll find the train station that'll take you into Amsterdam. When you arrive at the escalators that will take you down into the train station, ignore the yellow and blue train ticket machines. Go to the entry for platform one and two, and there you will find the public transportation ticket machines. At the ticket machines, get the three-day region ticket because it covers a larger area and includes trains, trams, and buses. This card is the same as the red card from all the tourist offices in Amsterdam. The ride to Central Station takes about 30 minutes. This will give you a good opportunity to review the map of the area covered by your region ticket. You can find a copy of the map on www.imamsterdam.com backslash area. When you arrive at Central Station, Go outside or to the front where you will find the trams. If you see boats, you're on the wrong side. Review the maps to determine what tram number you need if you haven't done this already. We found that the trams arrive frequently, usually less than 10 minutes apart. It's important to board the trams from the front doors or the center doors only. Both will have a ticket attendant. There is a button on the outside to open the doors. You simply press this if they don't open automatically. Don't forget to scan your cards inside the tram when getting on and off. If you're not certain what to do, let someone else go in front of you and just copy what they're doing. There's a screen in all of the trams that shows where you are going and what is the next stop. Don't forget to press the red button located on most of the rails to signal that you need the next stop. When exiting, press the green button on the left of the exit gate to open the doors. There are usually people already waiting to get off. After your three-day ticket expires, you can always buy either a one-hour or a 24-hour ticket on the tram itself. Make sure to have cash as most don't accept credit cards. You can buy more three-day Amsterdam only or Amsterdam and region travel tickets at any of the I Am Amsterdam visitor centers. There is one located just outside of Central Station by the trams and there is also one inside the station. If you go to the back of Central Station, you will find buses and several ferries that will take you across the canal for free to Amsterdam North. Three additional tips which you might find helpful that we learned the hard way include Tip number one, three days for the three-day Amsterdam and region travel ticket does not mean 72 hours from the time that it's activated. It's for three successive days in which the day begins at midnight and ends the following day at 4 a.m. For example, if you purchase the ticket on Monday at 8 p.m., it doesn't expire at 8 p.m. on Thursday, it expires at 4 a.m. Tip number two. On trains, the orange seats are for first class and the blue seats are second class, which are the ones included in your three-day travel tickets. Tip number three. Give yourself extra time when going places. Remember, Amsterdam is a city of canals, boats, and lots of drawbridges. We hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.